Hello everyone. Thank you for joining me again for these few moments with our Good Shepherd. Our psalm for today is Psalm 2. And again, I'd ask you to just pause this devotion for a minute and read that psalm for yourself and then continue. Today is Election Day in the United States and we see two opposing parties with radically different ideologies battling it out to see who's going to assume power and who's then going to be able to determine what is right and wrong for our nation. Why? Why? That's a little tiny word, isn't it? But it's a big question. I think it's probably one of the most asked questions throughout the whole world. Why? Have you ever asked God why? I'm sure you have. I know I have. You know, God, why is this happening? Why is this disease ravaging our nation? Why haven't I found a good job? Why? doesn't it seem like you're helping me? Why? The psalmist asked that same question. Now, we're not sure what the reason was behind it. Maybe the Assyrians were banging their swords against their shields, getting ready to attack Jerusalem. Maybe the Egyptians were tuning up their chariots to siege Israel again. Or maybe it was the Babylonians or the Philistines or... Why? I don't understand, Lord. I don't understand why this is going on. Why are we being attacked? I thought it would be different, Lord. Why? And how does God answer? He laughs. Now, he doesn't laugh at you or me. He doesn't laugh at the one asking that question, why? He laughs at the problem. He laughs at the enemies who are causing that problem. Now, maybe that's not the, the answer we had wanted to hear. Why would God answer that way, though, with a laugh? Well, maybe because... What so, seems so big and so troublesome to us isn't really all that big or troublesome to God. It's like that spider on the wall in the children's bedroom that makes them freak out and scream and be afraid. And the parent laughs and squashes it like a bug. What God is really saying in the psalm is, I got this. Those buggy nations that are against you, don't worry about them. I got this. The, the, the disastrous outcome of the election that one or the other side of the political argument claims will happen if they're not elected, don't worry about it. I've got this, God says. You know, God doesn't really ever answer our question why. Sometimes he does, but most of the time he doesn't, simply because we keep asking why. Kind of like the, the ch our ch children when they're little, and we, they ask us why, and we tell them, and then it's why, and why, and why, and why, and why. And God finally just reassures us and says, I got this. Don't worry about it. And then the psalm ends with a promise. Blessed are those who take refuge in him. Blessed, that's another big word. But it doesn't mean that everything's going to work out the way we want it to. Things rarely do, don't, do they? But rather, it focuses us in the right direction. That no matter what goes on in life, no matter the enemies that come against us, no matter the obstacles that stand in our way, they're really not all that big. Because God's got it all under control. And so, like a loving parent, God chuckles to himself, puts his hand on our shoulder, and says, Don't worry. 
I got this. We pray. Lord, help me to trust in you, especially when things don't seem to be going my way. Help me to see that my troubles are no trouble to you and that you will use these things to bless me, maybe in ways I can't even now imagine. Amen. Well, my friends, may God bless and keep you. And whatever kind of problems come your way, listen to God tell you, I got this.